when I found out Billboard took it off the country charts, like before, like it it, it was even taken off the country charts, I was just happy to be on Billboard at all. And like even after they did take it off, I was like, okay, at least I'm still on Billboard. But then it was like, I started to think about, I was like, you know, why? After like listening to other songs that's actually on that chart, it's like, wait a minute, something's not right, basically. I was living with my sister at the time. I, I wasn't paying bills, obviously, so it's like, of course she wants me to leave. I didn't want to go back home because I had, I just, I, I left school and now I was ready to do music now. It started off as like a runaway, loner, cowboy kind of story. It was like, yeah, I'm going to take more Soul Town Road rides like can't anymore. Meaning, you know, like, you know, I'm just gone. You know, I'm not coming back. I wanted to be more of like a triumphant, you know, kind of story. So it's like the horse would be like not having much and the Old Town Road would be like that path to success. And, you know, you taking the horse to the Old Town Road. Yeah, I'm gonna take my horse to the old town road. I'm gonna ride till I can't no more. I'm gonna take my horse to the old town road. I'm gonna ride till I can't no more. When the car came along, the horse was like basically obsolete at that point. So it's like, it's not really worth too much. I literally have, you know, my dad paying my phone bill and a Twitter account. So it's like, I'm gonna, I gotta make something shake because I'm not going back to work. I got the horses in the back. Horse stack is attached. Hat is matted black. Got the boosters black to match. Riding on a horse, you can whip your Porsche. I've been in the valley, you ain't been up off that Porsche now. You know, it's so many artists like coming up, like they have like so many resources, but it's like, that's not phasing, you know, what, what's going to really count, you know, your music. Yeah, you got this, but I got, I got this right here. So you can, you can keep doing what you're doing, but, you know, I'm going to show you that I'm going to make this happen. Can't nobody tell me nothing. You can't tell me nothing. Can't nobody tell me nothing. You can't tell me nothing. See, like, this is like the perseverance type of line. Like, yeah, I'm talking to people who saying, you know, this is not going to happen for me. But it's also like, you know, a cowboy who's just like clean as fuck and he's just like, you know, you know, can't nobody tell me nothing, you feel me? After, after I actually released the song, I had to think about it. I was like, wait, Kanye did like use this exact you know, line, but it wasn't interpolation of the song or nothing. But you know, everybody knows the song, of course. So yeah. Riding on a tractor, lean all in my bladder. Cheated on my baby. You can go and ask her. This second verse is like the future now. So it's like, what do you see a lot in in Hollywood? You know, adultery, all that. I have me a brand new tractor. You know, I'm I'm on. Some, some lean, not, not trying to endorse that, by the way. My life is a movie, bull riding in movies. Like around that time, I had just watched that Dallas Buyers Club movie, that scene with Matthew McConaughey. And I just had that scene in my mind, you know, I was just thinking about his lifestyle. And that's, that's, what, I, that's what I did for that line. Cowboy hat from Gucci, Wrangler on my booty. That last line was just like a big flex, really. Even Gucci don't even have a cowboy hat yet. We know, we gotta make that happen. One of the biggest memes were like, like it was like this guy standing on a horse and he's like, and he's like riding it through some desert or something. My favorite one though is like this cat and he's like hitting a whip and it's like right on beat and like even the clap. 